Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. It's almost Shabbos. It's almost Pesach. We've made it to this point. Amazing. Hopefully everybody has gotten everything ready for Pesach. And hopefully you're still talking to the people in your house because uh, I know these are stressful days. Um, I want to share with you that this Shabbos, the Shabbos that comes before Pesach, is one of the few Shabbos every year that gets its own name. It's called Shabbos Hagadol, Shabbat Hagadol. What does that mean? So Gadol means big or great, and um, it's the great Shabbos. What is great about this Shabbos? So there are many different answers to it. The, the classic answer is that something happened when the Jews were leaving Egypt, which was on the 10th day of Nisan, which happened to fall out that year on Shabbos, God told the Jewish people to take a lamb and bring it into your home and tie it to your doorpost and keep an eye on it and inspect it for any blemishes because in four days you're going to slaughter that lamb as the Korban Pesach, as the Paschal lamb, as the Paschal offering to Hashem, to God. Seems like a nice innocent thing. The only problem is that the Egyptians worshipped the lamb. It, that was their God. Now you can imagine what an act of defiance this was. Incredible anger, fury. The Egyptians are looking at this Jewish people, this lowly group of slaves, who for the last 210 years, they've been oppressing in brutal servitude. And now, all of a sudden, this lowly group of Jews have the audacity to take the God of Egypt, the lamb, and bring it into their home, tie it to their doorposts, and tell everyone we're going to offer your God to the one and only God as a sacrifice in four days? Incredible. You would expect the Egyptians to go crazy and to start a murderous rampage, and they didn't do anything. They didn't say boo. They were absolutely silent, and they let the Jewish people do this. And that is called a nes gadol, a great miracle. And in commemoration of this great miracle, we celebrate every year the Shabbat right before Pesach, and we call it Shabbos HaGadol. Problem. Yes, great miracle. The Egyptians were probably pretty angry, and they didn't say anything. It's kind of a miracle. But is it really... A, such a huge miracle? Is it as big of a miracle as the parting of the Red Sea, which doesn't get its own Shabbos? There's no Shabbos of the parting of the Red Sea. There's a Shabbos where we talk about the song that was sung at the Red Sea, but there's no Shabbos for the 10 plagues. There's no Shabbos HaMakot. Where, what happened to that? So what is it about this miracle? So let me go back to the word Gadol. Gadol we usually translate as big or great. But in um, halacha, in Jewish law, a gadol is when a person becomes an adult. Now, what is the definition of a gadol? Obviously, there's an age factor. But in addition to that, the person has to have a level of independence, a level of self-autonomy, of self-determination of their own future and their own destiny. When a per person reaches that point, they are considered a gadol. Now, think about this moment. This moment in history, when the Jewish people, who had been a battered nation of slaves for 210 years, all of a sudden stand up and say, No more! We are no longer your slaves. We are no longer subservient to you. In fact, we're going to demonstrate this by taking the lamb, which you worship as a god, and we're going to offer it up as a sacrifice to Hashem, the one and only infinite creator of everything. What an amazing act of independence. What an amazing act of self-determination and defiance for the nation of the Jewish people and for the future of the Jewish people. So when we say that a nes gadol took place on this Shabbos, it doesn't mean a great miracle. It means a nes, a miracle that transformed the Jewish people from being what they were before, dependent and slaves, into being a nation that is gadol, a nation that's independent, that has self-determination. That's what Shabbat HaGadol is. And this Shabbos has that power for each and every one of us. This is the Shabbos of the year where we can make decisions. That one decision that's been holding us back, that one choice that we need to make to establish that we are not going to minimize ourselves anymore. We are not going to be under the servitude or the oppression of something outside of us. We are going to step into our greatness. We're going to step into our 
gadolness, into our independence, into our self-determination, into finally becoming and being the people that we want to be, that Hashem created us to be. And that is the preparation for Pesach. So here we are. It's Shabbat HaGadol. I want to wish everyone a beautiful Shabbos. And I won't see you again until after the Seders. So everyone should have a, a really sweet and beautiful Pesach and Chag. A, an incredible experience at the Seder. Inspire yourself. Bring it in. Take your time. Go slowly. Inspire other people. And really, truly taste the sweetness and the beauty and the glory of true liberation as individuals and as a people. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Kosher B'Sameach.